What do you run? There we have Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and the Moon. As you see, they're all in a line, and that's the line we call the ecliptic. All the planets um, occur on that line. The ecliptic is the path that the Sun and the planets seemingly follow around the Earth. It is almost an extension of the equator, but angles due to the tilt of the Earth's axis. The path is the apparent movement of the bodies, but actually caused by the rotation of the Earth, and as we see here, is a single plane formed within our solar system. Thank you to you, our loyal viewers and subscribers. We really appreciate you and are encouraged by your support. For those who are not subscribed, please consider subscribing now. Morning everyone, we are waiting at the gates. It's uh, you know, one minute to six. We have a bit of a queue in front of us. I'm all eager to go. It is four degrees. Um, we had a bit of a noisy night last night. Um, Seems like some people wanted to party. <laughs> so feeling a little bit rough around the edges. Oh, I can't even get the words out properly yet. <laughs> Need some coffee too. Well, but coffee's waiting for us here in the car. We've got it ready and uh, all going. And uh, so this morning we're going to try and take a drive up to Tivavati breakfast spot and have some breakfast up there. But yeah, it's been a chilly night. Um, <laughs> Definitely different. Uh, we saw the swimming pool yesterday at Satara and we are thinking, oh, the last time we were here it was so nice to go and jump in the pool and get uh, cool and that was in February and now it's like, you know, <laughs> if there was a warm bath we probably would enjoy that more. Anyway, it looks like cars are on the go so stick with us and let's go see what we can find today. With the passing cold front and the onset of winter, the morning was extremely cold and it was unpleasant to drive with the windows open and with them closed, the car windows missed it up. In hindsight, we should have probably have waited for the sun to warm things up a little first, but we were eager to see the game. Unfortunately, they knew the situation better than us and even Insamani Dam was deserted. We were tossing up the idea of taking the S40, but when we passed the intersection, we saw that this was the boundary for the controlled burn and decided to continue until we reached the S39. came along the S39 uh, to the Timberbati picnic spot and uh, it's been a very quiet morning for game but uh, it's given up us the opportunity to appreciate some of the smaller things that we don't normally stop to have a look at and it's been uh, it, it's the diversity of the vegetation in the Satara area is amazing we started off with some very open plains and it's now become thick again and at the moment we're sitting at a watering hole or spot in, uh, along the Timberwati River that has quite a bit of water in it. So we're just sitting here having a look for a couple of seconds and uh, seeing if anything happens but uh, yeah if all goes according to plan we're up, going up the Timberwati River and we'll be having breakfast at the uh, Timberwati picnic spot.
Today was the day of the giraffe. We saw many of them along our trip and at one place we saw around 20 within a kilometre of the road. These animals are the tallest of all mammals and their legs are longer than the average human is tall. They are herbivores and eat around 45 kilograms of vegetation a day and this is a large source of their hydration, allowing them to have periods of a few days between drinking water. Their height and good sight gives them the ability to see predators from a distance, although this does not prevent them from becoming the occasional meal for the predators. Their lifespan is around 25 years old but have been known to grow to the age of 40. Necking is a fight between two males and is not dangerous and one male will usually surrender before any injuries occur. Giraffes' necks are too long to reach the ground and that is why they stoop to drink water. But the giraffe's neck have seven vertebrae, which is the same as a human's neck. Okay, so we're here at Timbavati picnic spot, just had some brunch and uh, it's quite busy, 
uh, a lot of people who also decided to have breakfast with some brunch at Timberbati. And we're actually in the car park because down where the brunch section is down the other side, it is chilly. <laughs> <laughs> There's that lazy wind that's blowing. It doesn't even bother about going around you, it just goes straight through you and I tell you what, it was cold. And uh, so yeah, we decided to head our breakfast and now we're here and we have our coffee and we're going to hit the road again and see what we can find. How is that for you, Tracy? Good. Yo, tummy's full, feeling good. That's it. Coffee's refilled, on our way. See you there. On our way back to Satara, we took the S127 and then the H14. We saw a blackback jackal, Cory Bustard, and a warthog family just chilling in the grass. The Cory Bustard is a tall bird and it's a good indication of just how tall the grass is. Once back at camp we made a fire for a bra and we tested the shisa briquettes which are a good alternative to wood. They are made from the nutshells of macadamia nuts and burn with a the flame then settle to a good set of coal. We were then also able to see elephant from our camp as well as the regular visit of four hyenas which patrol the fence looking for scraps of food from the visitors at Satara. It was sad to see that a number of guests were feeding them despite the request not to. Being this close to our hyena was an experience on its own. These animals mostly get a bad rap, but they are magnificent animals in their own right.
please like and subscribe to our channel if you have enjoyed our content. We love hearing from you in the comment section too.